Hello, good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, and it's about 4 in the morning. Yeah, um, I got up around 2, 4 in the morning, California time. So I got up around 2, and so I'm just kind of like, I need to film this video. Um, I got this a couple days ago, and I opened it, so I've already had a sneak peek. But this Goodwill Blue Box is from New Jersey. So there are some really cool pieces in here. Um, and then the rest is, you know, it's okay. But I wanted to go ahead and dive in and show you guys. And if you guys are watching this today, hope you guys have a great day. Be safe out there. I know on the East Coast, the snow is like really bad right now. So um, let's just dive right in. Okay. So this is just like a black, black colored with gold tone. It looks like big enlarged chips, but it's different. If anybody's interested, please email me at Soho California Vintage, um, Soho California Vintage at gmail.com. It's in the description below. I'm very <clears throat> reasonable in my pricings and I work with you. Um, but we have that piece. And then this one, I've never gotten a brass cuff like this. It has an inlay. It's like a kind of like a tribal style. It has the brass. And I don't know what material this cream color is or the black. It might be stone. But that is really cool. That is very, very cool. like it. Then we have a seed bead with some recent um, beads. It kind of looks more like a little girl necklace. It's very, very small. This one is pretty. This one's really... Okay, and I didn't even notice this last time with the accents right here on the hardware. This is, this, this is like, um, an interesting mix of colors. It kind of reminds me of those caramel candies. And then we have some lavender and EBs. This one actually looks a lot better in the light too. It's a dual strand, but look at how beautiful the hardware, the accents. I wish all jewelry was just something like this. It's a little, oh no, that's the way it is. That's cute. I like that. It's cute. Very, very, very cute. Here we have a stretch. And I do like the filigree work. It looks like all the stones are there. This, unfortunately, I mean, okay, well, it's holding. Um, I think I'm gonna, um, spare the moment. If anybody's interested, um, you know what, um, I'll come back to that thought. But here we have a stretch bracelet. Now, this is a really cool stretch bracelet. It kind of reminds me of like a pewter but what I like about it is like the inlay in the middle. It's not abalone, it's or a labradite. It... Yeah, it's kind of like a mother of pearl. No, no, I'm sorry. It's more of like an abalone. But this is cool. This like this look. Okay, so that's that stretchy is not gonna help me out here. <clears throat> so this is I forgot what this one. Oh, Liz Claiborne. So this is just a simple Liz Claiborne gold tone necklace. I like it. They're just like graduated, kind of, little loops. A 
Okay, so this is what I'm going to do for this slot. Um, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Everything that I'm showing you, I'm going to sell it for, especially for my subscribers, for $5 each. Unless I specify um, that it will be a little bit more than that. But, like, if you're interested in this cuff, it's $5. If you're interested in this bracelet, it's $5. If you're interested in this beautiful caramel and lavender necklace it's five dollars this is five everything's five dollars um so if you're interested what i would recommend doing if you want if you like a, a specific piece is as the video is playing screenshot it and email it to me or just put the timestamp in the email i don't i will not respond to comments you guys so any interest put it um send me an email this is a really nice just plain gold tone so if everything's five dollars <throat> here we have a <clears throat> just a gold tone bangle but it's in good condition i like that here we have a teal color with gold wash but it's uh, it's a little faded on the side so everything is five dollars unless i give you a different price you know oh this is fun i like these this is fun it's just a stretch it has the um hematite color but it's not hematite. It's just like a metallic gray faceted color. Here we have another. It looks like a clear wash of amethyst. But they're plastic faceted with these silver balls. I like a good ball. Look at the graduated balls right here. That's cute. I like how it's like big in it. Okay. Here we have some seed beads. This is cute. And this is like a mother of pearl laid over abalone. This is handmade. Um, I don't know if that's, I think it needs to be dipped in like a, some soap and water. It has a little bit of dirt in there. So, um, oh, this, wait, that's right. We got this big seed bead sand color. This one's nice. It's modern. It's not, well, I want to say more modern because of, because of this, but, uh, I, I, yeah, it's probably vintage. Not as old as I would think. It's this, this is not like 70s, 60s. This is probably more like 90s. But we have some beautiful sand, earth tone seed beads. Oh, I remember I found this and I fell in love with this. Okay, so this is not going to be $5. This I have to at least get. Um, well, let me see. Let me inspect the wear on this. Um, this is really cute. It's a, like a nautical charm bracelet. Has a sand do dollar, the anchor. I don't know what you call that. It's the wheel on the boat. Tassel. Look at the starfish. Ooh, starfish has some fire, girl. And a shell. I have to at least get um, $8 on this. Um, it's it's made good. And all the charms are there. And they're, this is really, really cute. So this one, the nautical charm bracelet, is $8. And I'm not a big fan of the rope, but this one is cute. I like this. Mm, I wish I owned a boat. <laughs> just, uh, I could just go to the beach and pretend I owned a boat. Okay. 
Okay, so here we just have like a seed bead. Oh, we got something attached here. A seed bead necklace. Um, so it looks like we have some little caviar beads in there. It has some wear. I'll do this one for three dollars. I I can't. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do five. This is it's too much for five. It's for you guys, I'll do it for three. Okay, so this is like a little girl necklace, cute for anybody's granddaughter, niece, or daughter. And it is what does it say? Cool jewels. Cool. cool. I thought it, I thought at first it was gonna say like Cookie Lee, but it's cool jewels. And it has just the dolphins. That's really sweet. Okay, so here we have. It looks like a fairy and it's encasing, oh, that's not cute. It's encasing um, this glittery glass bottle. I don't think this is removable, but maybe, oh, you could actually change this out. If you don't like pink, you could put something else in there. That's actually really cute. So you could put like maybe sand or something. This is $5. How charming. I like that. Very, very charming. <clears throat> so here we have a long, a long, um, let me see. Is it flopper? Actually, it is. This is like flopper. Well, yeah, this is flopper length. They're just plastic faceted stones but i mean these are great colors for the spring you got your blues your pinks your light sherbet orange and your key lime yellow that's five dollars here we have a silver stretchy um i'll just do this is the thing. These are so... It's cute. It's really cute. I'll do three on this. It just probably needs to be... I mean, it's it's there. It's just somebody probably with the smaller wrist would do better with it. So this is really cute. I like this, but there are missing stones. Ugh. But look at how cute. Ugh. That would have been sensational if it was all together. It's just, yeah, this is no winnow. It's going with craft or basuda. Okay, so this is a lovely piece and it needs some TLC. Because I'm going to show you. Look at how cool that clasp is. I swear if I oh that that's right this is goldette. Um I don't know the price margin for goldette. I know this is vintage. Let me see here. Let me see here. So this needs to be reattached with this. I uh I could fix that with my tools. Just I need to just loop it back. But what's really cool about this is that it opens up in the front. Look at that. That is so charming. I love it. At first I thought it was like a pocket watch, but it's not. So you could put all your little, your little, um, I don't know, whatever you want to put in there. <laughs> Nowadays it's like, well, you can't even put a stick of gum in there. That is so cute. So, um, it, 
it does need repair. It just needs to be cl um, clipped back on. Um, if anybody wants it, um, I will do um, seven for it. And I'll fix the little loop. But that's cute. Then we have this little doggy. Looks like a go. Oh, no. I was going to say golden retriever. It's not. <sighs> it's that dog from Lady and the Tramp, the movie. The girl. There's a heart right there. It's not sterling, but it's really, really cute for dog lovers. That's five. Okay. Ooh. Look at this. Okay. So this is Charm and Charlie. And I don't know, Charm and Charlie. I you got something going on here. This is sensational. I love the little purple stones. That's cute. So somebody who loves silver and purple, like this would be just perfect. And spring is coming with summer. $5. Okay, so this is a vintage bracelet, and it has different style strands on here, and this is the clasp. It is not marked. It's, um, it's a little, it's a little tedious, too. There we go. So it works. It's just it needs patience and time or some your husband or boyfriend or best friend to help you put it on. This one's cute. Five dollars. Here we have a charm bracelet. All the stones are there. They look just like plastic cabochons. Some faux pearls on a really, really small ankle. Actually, it doesn't even need to be that small, but this would be a cool anklet. That would be so fun wearing this, and you're like walking down to the park or the beach. That is fun. Okay, so I have a bunch of bangles. I like these twisties right here. These are cool. So these three I'll do for five. I'm not going to do five each, you know, if you'd like that set. The set right here I'll do for five as well. Or if you want them both, I'll, I'll give you a way better deal. This is really cute. This is going to be five by itself. I don't know if it's silver. But it's a nice um, faux onyx on a silver tone cuff. Here we have a seed bead. We have some gold tone. Oh, it looks like an eggplant color and some cream colored seed beads with some hair. Gotta love the DNA, right? Yeah, that's five. Okay, aw. So I'm bummed because this one is missing all the little flowers. Like, all of them are missing. So that's a pity. And this one was um, Trafori. Bummer. Huh. Or it could be easily, you know, fixed, replaced. It just has wear on the inside. Here we have more of a modern style necklace. I like the concept with the dual strands 
if I could untangle it. And sometimes these, you know, they kind of go for like a dimensional abstract kind of look. I like this. I like this half faux pearl and gold tone. Very cute. Okay, so I'm pretty much towards the end. And this is just a stretchy. We've got amber and key lime colored stones. It looks like they're all there. Yep. So, and this has some weight. Okay, so we're down to the nitty gritty. And this is very costumey. Like, it doesn't even feel like it's made really well. And it says guess. It might be a fake guess. If anybody makes a purchase from this video and emails me, I will throw these in for free. Because it does have the rose gold. They're stretchies. I'll throw those in for free. You, um, if you're interested, you have to, um, when you email me, you have to say, oh, and I want the free gas stretch bracelets. So then that way I know when it's first, first come, first serve. Okay. So this is a really cool design, but it's very, very, it's lighter than plastic. It's, but that is a cool design. I'm just going to throw these bangles in with the others if they are purchased. This one is nice. This one has some wear on it. This one's very, very nice. There's no wear. It has... <sighs> Look at that. From far, it looks like a real gold bracelet. So, that one's five. Here we have another one of those little... This is very, very light. I'll throw this in for a dollar. It's just so light. So here we have a gold rope. I'm going to keep this um, just to have because I have a lot of extra... Um, a lot of extra um, pendants. Let's see what we got here. Now we're on to the earrings. So I remember there was a pair in here that I have. There's actually a few that I absolutely loved. Okay, unfortunately, this earring right here, it's me. It's broken. So it, it got sap sabotaged in the I guess in the transfer yeah okay so okay so let me focus here look at how great these faceted glass ruby um, clip-ons are they do need to be cleaned up Oh, I heard something. What is that? Oh, that's something else. That goes to the other area. I was like, what? did a stone fall out? So they need to be cleaned up. Um, I would suggest white vinegar. Because the, the hardware is just thrashed. But I could do these for five. And if you do buy them, they're going to be as is. I'm not going to... I won't... Um, for five it's a really great deal you just have to clean it up with white vinegar 
Um, these are very, very cool. Look at these little puppies. Oh my goodness. So we have the turquoise, the orange, the black, Native American style. There's no wear. These are in great condition. I'll do five for these. And then we just have like your typical 80s style red. Red earrings. If you're interested, let me know. Um, let me see here. Oh, these are. Look at these clip-ons. Kind of like a zebra pattern. We got um, the silver tone mixed metals with the gold tone. These are actually cool. Those are awesome. Okay, so these right here, I have never seen this style. Actually, Bronze, what are you doing, baby? Hey, you're going to knock everything over. Come on. Trying to get in the box. Okay, look at these mosaic earrings. I haven't tested to see if this is gold. Oh, um, I don't know. I don't know if I said earlier that this box was from New Jersey. If I did, I'm, I'm. You guys are having deja vu because I'm repeating myself. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, what did I just say two minutes ago? Yeah, so this box is from New Jersey. Um, actually, I'll just be putting it in the title. But the stones are there. These are like a teardrop style. So mosaics airing self on average no less than $20 on eBay. If anybody's interested, I'll sell them for 10 That's a really great deal, a 10 However, if... This happens to be gold, you know. Obviously, I'm not going to sell it for 10, it would be a different price. But, um, if any, I haven't tested it, I don't think somebody would put gold on this, but you never know. I wouldn't go up that much more if it was gold. But if look at how cute these are. It's like a deep navy blue in the background, and you got some flowers in the middle. Lovely. So these are 10. The most expensive thing so far in this lot. Here we have some beautiful ocean blue faceted teardrops. Okay, I see some cloisonne. Huh. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. These are five. These look like little butterfly wings. Kind of. And then here are the rest of the earrings. They're just regular costume. I like these, however, what I would do, it gives it a nice dimension with the back color, but I would, as an idea, also just clip this off, just remove it and just have this. That's a really pretty design. So whoever wants these, it would be, you know, your preference. And those are in good condition. Oh, I like these. These are like a lavender colored faceted. These are five. I haven't tested if, if, if this is gold. But these are five. Here we have a dichroic. I don't think I have the other pair to this one. Nope. I have this one. 
Oh, here's another cloisonne. Look how cute. These are cuties. Um. Okay, this looks like it's a little... Okay, it just has... No, I guess that's the design. And that's pretty much it. I don't see... Oh, there's th these right here. These little key lime ones. Um, these are just little flat chips. Those remind me of like when they make chocolate. That's just the big chocolate chip bags for baking. So what is this? Date do? Oh, these are library cards. <laughs> these are library card earrings how cute is that for like a teacher or a librarian that is cute that is different I like different and these are five and we have the turquoise with the gold beads and that's pretty much it it cuts we're closing that out all right so yeah if you're interested email me um, don't comment down below. It's, I can't do both comments and emails. Just email me. I'll get back to you. And, um, if you get, um, yeah, I, I will work with you, you know, so, but you guys have a great one. This is the, um, Goodwill Blue Box from New Jersey. And my next one, it looks like it's coming from Texas. So, Texas, don't fail me now. Because <laughs> in the past, you've definitely had me up and down. These are so pretty. These are so charming. All right, guys. I love each and one of you. Thanks for the support. I'll see you guys in the next one. Soho, California Vintage, signing off.